Hi guys. It is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in the green mountains of Vermont here on this gorgeous Thursday morning, July 12th, 2018. And uh, I just finished my no shit Sherlock. Yes, my no shit Sherlock roundup doomsday roundup of the day so we're going to switch to a fairly truncated version of part two of my doomer headline rants and we're going to make this one the bullshit detected, bullshit detected. Take roundup rants and so i don't burn out the batteries of my bullshit detector button and also the it took me so long to research the last rant my batteries are about gone here on uh, my computer, so before global industrial civilization collapses on me, just need to go through the bullshit detected version of the mainstream media, starting out with Time Magazine in the shithole city of Pueblo, Colorado. Time is showing us how one industrial city is fighting to go green. And I, you cannot, uh, this is an absolute priceless, I guess unintentionally, hilariously ironic headline. Larry Atencio is steering his Ford Explorer SUV through the streets of Pueblo, Colorado, pointing out from behind the wheel of his SUV, how the city is going green. I remember, uh, literally remember driving through Pueblo, Colorado last year and thinking I really need to pull out my camera and do a rant uh, about the biggest shithole city in the state of Colorado. The entire city dedicated to planet eating. This is my rant. This is not your rant, guys. Anyway, alright. Many, many versions of this unadulterated horseshit story. Here's every big company that says it is banning plastic straws. Hmm, it's estimated that more than 500 million plastic straws are used every day in the U.S., and much of that waste ends up in the oceans, causing harm to sea creatures. So, so far, I'm with the no-shit Sherlock button. In an effort to reduce that waste, a handful of big companies have announced plans to ban to ban single-use plastic straws, starting with uh, starting with Starbucks saving the planet. Here is Hyatt Hotels saving the planet. Don't forget American Airlines saving the planet. How about the Girl Scouts? Between hawking all of their palm oil cookies. They're going to save the planet. American Airlines saving the planet. Here is SeaWorld saving the planet. I could go on with this unadulterated fucking horseshit. Now, guys, make no mistake about it. Uh, I am uh, fully cheering on these goddamn corporate greenwashers for uh, for banning plastic straws, okay? Your old eco-Nazi is cheering them on, but if there is one fucking clueless moron on this planet that A, uh, misunderstands what this is, this is corporate fucking greenwashing from a god damn bunch of, uh, of fucking planet eaters who need to be put out of fucking business. Okay? From Starbucks uh, to American Airlines to those fucking cruise ships. 
uh, anybody acting like these fucking planet eaters give a flying fuck about this planet by making some little horse shit pledge to these goddamn little mainstream limp dick greeny environmentalist you know uh, good God, pull your head out of your fucking clueless moron ass. Not that anybody uh, on this channel uh, is swallowing this unadulterated fucking greenwashing horseshit for one fucking second. Biggest bunch of goddamn horseshit that I've read in years. Jesus fucking Christ, we're so fucked. Anyway... What's going on in the shithole country of Mexico? Mexico consolidates as... Now, I do like this choice of words. I, I, I come to think of it, this was a classic headline. Mexico consolidates as an actor committed to climate change. That is exactly what Mexico in any other country acting like they're committed to fighting climate change. They are an actor. Mexico has consolidated itself as a committed and concerned global player in an effective fight against climate change, and that is the position that it must maintain during the COP24. COP24 meeting in Poland next December. Yes, Mexico consolidates itself as an actor committed to climate change. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> anyway, from the shithole country of, uh, of Mexico to the shithole country of Ecuador, the latest saga, or should I say slaga, and Ecuador court upholds nine and a half billion dollar damages ruling against Chevron Corporation. Good God, guys, I have been having this rant for how many years? Uh, I, 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 again, uh, I am cheering on, uh, on I any lawsuit. Uh, against these fucking planet eaters uh, destroying the goddamn Amazon jungle. But, uh, but if anybody believes uh, that these, these plaintiffs down there and the, these Indians down there in the Ecuador and Amazon are, are going to uh, ever see one fucking penny out of these guys. Uh, I've been talking about this shit since one of my first Humpty Dumpty tribe rants. Pull your head out of your ass. They're never going to see it. Um, the decision by Ecuador's constitutional court is largely symbolic because Chevron now owns no assets in Ecuador. Yes. Uh... Chevron has, did not deny that pollution had occurred by Texaco oil, that, that Chevron. It wasn't Chevron, it was Texaco who actually made all of this fucking mess down there. Then Chevron uh, bought Texaco, and this is one of the fleas that came with the dog. Uh, Chevron did not deny that pollution had occurred, but the company blamed the pollution on Ecuador's state-run Petro-Ecuador, with which Texaco worked in a consortium of oil companies and has refused to pay the settlement, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and uh, you know, here Hambone Littletail is agreeing with Chevron Oil Company, you know, trying to put the blame on those mean old gringos, uh, Ecuador was every bit as guilty of this environmental crime uh, as the U.S. They rolled out the fucking red carpet to Texaco. 
exactly what they're doing down there in Ecuador today as this never fucking story ends. It's just that the U.S. has now morphed into China where the U.S. used to be in bed with these uh, Ecuadorian oil companies. Now China is in bed with these Ecuadorian oil companies. Uh, in with the new boss, same as the old boss, as the, as the U.S. empire hands over the torch to the Chinese empire. Uh, it's the same old story for them Indians. You know? Pull your fucking head out of your ass, anyone uh, not understanding this. Okay, all right, my battery's getting ready to go. How about Coors Molson steps up climate fight even as heat drives thirst? This is how the brewers of Coors and Molson beer are stepping up their fight are stepping up their efforts to fight global warming even though recent hot weather in Europe during the World Cup has lifted their beer sales for one of the world's biggest brewers. I want to thank uh, one of the world's biggest brewers for saving the planet. I absolutely got a, a sick laugh out of this one. Bill and Hillary Clinton spotted on commercial flight. I cannot make this sentence up. This is from Inside Edition. The opening sentence. Hill, which one did they start with? Hillary and Bill Clinton. They are just like us. Yes, Hillary and Bill Clinton are just like like us. Now, I don't know who the fuck uh, wrote that story for Inside Edition. Is there anybody listening to, uh, to this uh, unadulterated horseshit that thinks they are just like Hillary and Bill Clinton? This is uh, Bill and Hillary, you, you know, showing how they're just regular folks by, by flying first class on a, on a commercial airline, uh, I guess their private jet was broken down, and so Bill and Hillary actually had to be on a fucking commercial airplane for about an hour and a half. And, uh, of course, on first class, yes, Hillary and Bill Clinton, they are just like us. I'm sure George Carlin would point out it is one big club, and you ain't in it. But I just want to close with, with this humorous story from one of these clueless moron models, Katarina Zaretsky. Instagram model hits back at critics after being attacked by a shark while posing for a photograph. I guess I probably should have put this. I'm sorry, this actually belonged in the No Shit Sherlock photograph. An Instagram model has hit back at criticism from online, online, online trolls after being bitten by a shark while posing for photographs in the middle of a school of them. Yeah, so she saw this school of sharks, and Ms. Zaretsky decided to make the most of the opportunity and went into the water to get some photographs with the animals. But while posing for the pictures, a shark bit into the model's wrist and held her underwater for several seconds. Just a little nip. Just a little nip. Anyway, guys, I got to wrap this up because my computer is saying I'm out of here. Global industrial civilization is collapsing, and it is a Thursday morning, so I have to do my uh, regularly scheduled collapse, depressed collapsitarian whine 
uh, of the day where I'm going to continue from yesterday about my little adventure at the Canadian border. And uh, if you didn't catch that, uh, if you didn't catch that wine, you're going to get some more of it today. Coming right up as soon as I think of it. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog. You ready to whine?